Now, hundreds of thousands of people on the southwest coast, they were urged to evacuate ahead of Ian, and many of them ended up right here in Palm Beach County. Yeah, now that the storm has passed, many of them are trying to head back home, some completely unaware of what they will find. And CBS 12's Amber Robb, she's joining us live off of Highway 98 in the western part of Palm Beach County, where she caught up with people fueling up for their trip west. Amber. I'm at a gas station right off State Road 80 right now where people have been filling up their tanks, grabbing all those essentials before they head to survey the aftermath. So, Packing up and heading home. Ice is obviously a big thing. <laughs> we got uh, two portable generators, several gallons of gas, uh, a couple cases of water, a chainsaw to help up with some of the, uh, the trees and things that went down. Uh, and basically that's it. So all the all the necessities. Punta Gorda resident David right McAtee traveled to Wellington to pick up a generator from his brother along with supplies. Right. He knows most everything back home is closed and he says he's lucky. His home is okay. He just has no power. We had uh, some water intrusion through the soffits. Uh, some tiles were gone, so nothing dramatic, but stuff that will have to be fixed. Some are just getting ready to head back. We're looking at tomorrow, depending on how the um, how the highway looks, how the roads look. But countless more are nowhere close to heading back home. Still flooded. We can't even get into our community. Uh, A&W Bulb is flooded. That's our entrance into our community on one way in. And we have no power and we have no water, so we have to stay here. Others like Manuel Chavez, who lives in Loxahatchee, is heading west. He says he's going into the disaster scene to help out his family in Englewood, another area that was hit hard and still without power. I'm just pumping gas. I'm going to go get some propane and then I'm going to go get ready so I can leave tomorrow early in the morning. Chavez says it's possible they may be heading here to stay with him. Others are more fortunate. Structurally, we're, we, we're in pretty good shape. We have a little bit of damage, but it's insignificant by comparison to what other folks are going through. This is paradise, right? We live in paradise. We have to pay the price. So that's what that's what we do. We get ready and hunker down, do our best, and then clean up afterwards. We're still seeing people coming through, gassing up, filling up extra gas cans, and even hauling generators back home to help alleviate the aftermath from Hurricane Ian.